Roger, first, your thoughts on the Prime Minister, what he said about extremism. We've got Robert Jenrick in the paper this morning talking about how there's a cosy relationship between the far left and also Islamist extremists. Yes, I think that uh, extremism is permeating into our culture to a, a, an unjustified and a very large extent in, in theatre, in all sorts of different areas where, um, you know, a war in a country far away shouldn't really have that level of influence. We saw Suella Braverman sacked for coming out and saying relatively similar stuff when it comes to extremism, etc. Now, down the line, a couple of months down the line, we've got the Prime Minister saying the same things. You know, mm. Do you think you should probably apologise to Suella Braverman, have her back maybe or not? Um, <clears throat> the first, certainly, I think, I think he should at least acknowledge that uh, she's made a point which now the, the zeitgeist, if you will, uh, the collective sort of spirit and consciousness has picked up. Um, I was a little disappointed with his, with his speech, like everything else he says. It sounds good, but there's really... Uh, like uh, Keir Starmer as well, it's just words. There's there's nothing concrete to get your fingers around or your, your teeth into, is there? Mm. Um, OK, there have been some arrests this morning of people who didn't obey the police. That's kind of new. Um, yeah, I mean, look, I, I think that people who want to protest about Palestine should be free to do it, but they've made their point. Um, and it's just when it spills over into the hate the anti-Semitism and the anti... I don't use the word Islamophobia. That's a, it's a crazy word. It means fear of Muslims. It's not fear of, of Muslims. It's hate for Muslims. It's anti-Islamicism. Mm. So the anti-Semitism and the anti-Islamicism that comes off the back of some of these protests, that's got to be stopped. It's illegal. Um, but what's he going to do about it? Well, All these fine words, but, we, you know, there's really... One, one thing that they say they're going to do, which uh, I imagine a lot of us would have thought was already being done, is that they're going to draw up a list of hate preachers <laughs> from across the world and make it automatic that they're not allowed to come into Britain. Well, you would have thought our Home Office were already doing such the... things. We saw in France how quick they were to deport an imam who was spouting hatred against France, yet we can't seem to do the same here. Are we always a bit of a step or, or ten steps behind? Well, this is how uh, politicians, um, Emily, and especially this government, operate. They're going to they're gonna reinvent the wheel. The, intelli the British intelligence services already have 50,000 names of people who are here. Mm -hmm. You don't need to look for people coming across the border force. I mean, what they need to do is get control of the situation here. But, it's, you know, it's just empty words. It just it, 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 it depresses me.